Welcome to Electro Online. In thermodynamics, we use three temperature scales, two which are very common around the globe, one which is only used in a few places, one of them being the United States. The three temperature scales are the Celsius scale, the Fahrenheit scale, and the Kelvin scale. And notice that for the different things such as boiling water, freezing water, and absolute zero, we have the appropriate temperatures on the board. What we need to be able to do, of course, is convert from one to another. So going back and forth between Kelvin and, and uh, Celsius degrees, well, the way we do that is to go from Kelvin to Celsius, we simply subtract 273. Notice that we rounded it off, it's actually 273.15, but typically we just say 273. In the other direction, we take the temperature scale in uh, Celsius degrees, we add 273 to get to Kelvin, so that's fairly straightforward. Converting between Celsius and Fahrenheit degrees is a little bit more complicated. So, if we have the temperature in Celsius degrees and we want to go to Fahrenheit degrees, this is the equation that we use. So, we take the degrees, let's say it's 20 degrees Celsius, we multiply times 9.5, 9 over 5, we add 32, that gives us Fahrenheit degrees, so in this case, 20 degrees Celsius is 68 degrees Fahrenheit. When we go in the other direction, we take the temperature in Fahrenheit, subtract 32 first, and then we multiply times 5 over 9. In case that we have a, an example, when the temperature Fahrenheit is 104 degrees, we subtract 32 times 5 over 9, which gives us 40 degrees Celsius. Keep in mind that 1 degree Celsius is not the same as 1 Celsius degree. This gives you the actual temperature, which means one degree above for the freezing point of water, and this gives us the size of the degree or the difference between two temperatures, between the difference between 28 and 29, for example. Notice that we talk about Celsius degrees and Fahrenheit degrees, and I didn't write the word degree, so let me put that down. So we'll put down degrees here. But when it comes to the Kelvin scale, we don't say Kelvin degrees, we simply say Kelvins. So we have five Kelvins instead of five Kelvin degrees. And again, here are the three scales, Celsius, Kelvin, and the Fahrenheit scale. And once you have control of this, we can then go ahead and start with the real thermodynamics, understanding some of the basic definitions, and understanding how to deal with the different temperature scales. And that is how it's done.